Season number 36, war number 1. Today I'm gonna be using a team of Kitty Pride, Tigra and Omega Sentinel. I'm gonna be taking path 1 in section 1. This Manting and Mojo shared fight. Path 5 in section 2. Sasquatch, Bishop, Super Skrull and that Mojo boss. Just to be clear, we really aren't trying hard this season. We're saving our loyalty, boosts and other items for season 37. And you're gonna be seeing exactly how hard I'm gonna be trying later in this video. So the plan is to basically not use any health potions if you can avoid it. And I'm only gonna be using some medium boosts that I have in overflow. So, talk about this fight, it's just a Tigra, there's nothing special about this. All I gotta do is get my special 2 and throw it. I'm gonna build a few more prowess passives before throwing it, and I even mess it up and not connect the first 2 hits, but it was still enough to finish her. If you didn't know we aren't pushing this season, you'd think I was an idiot for the way I played this war. Well, to be fair, I was an idiot for a few reasons. But we'll get to that in a bit. Next up we have this small man on this masochism node. Basically the same thing as the Tigra last node. All I gotta do is get them a special 2 and throw it. This fight will take a lot longer than I wanted it to. I'm stuck trying to bait his special too. And even after that I just... For some reason I don't throw my special too when I could. All in all I just wasn't really thinking about my fights. And I'll go for the special too to finish it. Next up is this man thing on node 20. I will be using Omega Sentinel for it and this is probably the most interesting fight of the war. I'm using the heal block pre-fight to deal with the masochism. The basic idea is to just get the heal block up whenever I can and then just keep it paused for the rest of the fight. I start the fight by parrying to trigger the masochism node. After that I throw a double medium to inflict the heal block debuff. And then I finish my combos with a light attack to keep the heal block paused. I basically ignore the strike count theory node. Keep my heal blocks paused and go for my special 2 for the incinerate damage. Before throwing my special 2 I go for a double medium to trigger the masochism so that my incinerate will not get shrugged off by it. At this point I switch back to just finishing my combos with light attacks to keep the debuffs paused. A very easy fight. Up next is this Modok on Power Snack. I have a white Magneto pre-fight on and I will be using Kitty Pride. The plan is to use the white Magneto pre-fight passive stun to build up my prowess faster. At 10 prowess I'm unblockable so I ignore Modok's auto block completely. As for the Power Snack, I just play around it. I dex Modok special ones instead of facing them, as to not lose my prowess. I throw my special 2 and hope to finish the fight, 
but the first three hits of it did not crit, so Moda lives for a few more seconds. Lost a little bit of HP, but other than that it was fine. Next up we have this thing on path 5 in section 2. Now, if you're looking to see some pro Tigra gameplay, I highly suggest that you skip this fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna even comment on this. I I'm gonna skip it myself. You can watch it if you want. I'm I'm out. Okay, yeah, it could have gone worse, but I... No, I, I'm not happy with that. Next up is the Skillmonger on Ebenflow Intercept, which I will be taking with Kitty Pride. This one is a very simple and straightforward fight. All I need to do is get to three prowess, and I can use my facing to land those intercepts. My plan was to be phasing as much as possible to heal up on this fight, but that didn't really work out. Looking back, I should have just thrown my special 2 here and finished the fight, but it is what it is. And he goes down. Should have been a lot faster, but hey, at least I didn't die. And even if I did drop an attack bonus there, it wouldn't have made a difference. At this point we had already won the war. Oh, and we don't even count our stats this season. And on to the fight. This is a Sasquatch on Ebenflow Intercept. The shared fight in section 2, but I'm using Kitty Pride. I'm not running power boosts, I don't think, but I do have some medium boosts on that were expiring. I'm just doing medium light combos to keep facing and healing up. That also allows me to land those intercepts to get the passive fear and remove the protection. The plan is to get him low make him trigger the wrath and then just drop him with my special 3. I want him to trigger the wrath before using my special 3 because each stack that he has gives him a damage reduction so entering the wrath removes all of them. Now we triggered the wrath, but the protection just came back, so I need to land another intercept first. And now the fight is basically done. Up next is this bishop on the safeguard node, which I will be taking with Kitty Pride. 
And again, for whatever reason, I always mess this fight up in Alliance War, even though it's a very easy one. So I'm supposed to be facing his special one, but for some reason I didn't. And I just ate it. For no reason. And it hurt. And yeah, this is probably the worst war I have had in a very, very long time. But hey, at least we're not pushing. If we were trying hard this war, I would have been so mad at myself for how I played it. Now this fight is about to come to an end. All I need to do is face one more special one from him and he's gonna drop. Next up is the Super Scroll on a note that I can't pronounce, so I'm not even gonna try to. I'm gonna be using Tigra. Unfortunately, I did have to heal her up a bit, otherwise doing this fight wouldn't make any sense. Since the plan is to nuke it down, and... Yeah, if I didn't heal up, I wouldn't survive. The plan is to bait two heavies and punish them with mine, and then throw my special two to finish the fight. That's all there is to it. However, looking back, this guy had placed with the recoil masteries, so had I known that, I could have saved my potions and used Omega Sentinel instead. Or even Kitty Pride. Next up, I'm gonna be taking this Mojo boss with Kitty Pride, and I'm gonna take it double linked with the aspect of evolution and brute force nodes still up. The reason being, we would have been finishing this war pretty late the next day instead. It was around 5am for me, and I was about to go to bed, so I figured it would be better to just clear it. And to be clear, I would not do this if we were actually trying to push, or if we were at a risk of losing this war. I knew before going in that I would most likely drop an attack bonus here, but I just wanted to take it down so that the others wouldn't have to deal with the global. I'm gonna do something here that you should only ever do as a last resort, as a backup option, and that is the Kitty Cycle. It's a strong cycle, but it is not safe to do. If you plan on using it, be prepared to die because of it. This time it worked out, but if the AI decides to not throw their special tree while you're facing this up, you're as good as dead. I face most of the degen damage, and I leave Mojo at 27% after my special 2. Now I need to get my prowess up so I can start facing again. But because of the aspect of evolution node, I'm not landing any criticals. And I end up eating a special 2 from him. Costing me a death. This is the first one in a very long time. But I, I gotta say, it wouldn't have happened had I actually been trying to push this war and taking it seriously. I pop a 40% revive and just go back in to try to finish it. However, I suck at this game. So I end up missing my intercept and dropping another one. This one's all on me and I simply just suck. In the end, those two deads don't make a difference whatsoever for our war, or the season, but I'm still just ticked off about it. I just go in with Omega Sentinel to finish the fight. I'm really not built for not pushing Alliance Wars. Honestly just can't wait for season 37. Even knowing that we don't track our stats this season, these deaths just they piss me off. 
I don't know what it is. I just really, really don't like dropping this. Anyways, that is my word on. Feel free to roast me in the comments. <laughs>